slay or spare. You might meet many allies on your adventures. When you do, perhaps you should consider this question: Is their company worth keeping, or should you show them no mercy? Hello, everyone. This is the Seeker of Grace, and welcome to the first episode of Slay or Spare. In this series, I will be talking about some of the more friendly people you might meet on your adventures, and suggest whether you might benefit more from befriending them or killing them. But of course, it is ultimately up to you to make the final judgment. So, in this episode, I will be talking about White Mask Vare. Yes. This suspicious man that you meet when you enter the open world for the first time, the one who is friendly enough to give you some directions, but is arrogant enough to be unlikable. So, should you follow this character's quest line, or should you kill them at this point? I think there's no need to talk about where and how to find him, since he makes himself so noticeable. So let's move on to my analysis. What happens if you spare him? You can probably guess from my choice of words that Vare has a quest line. I will not spoil it too much for you, but one of the rewards of his quest line is a shortcut to an area with great rune harvesting potential. I will speak in detail about this place in the future, but long story short, it is a valuable reward. Now then, what happens if you kill him? At this point, you can obtain 500 runes and six festering bloody fingers when you kill Vare. For your information, festering bloody fingers are used to invade the worlds of other tarnished with the purpose of killing them, which is a rather niche activity, if you ask me. But returning to the subject, if For whatever reason, you decide to kill him. Allow me to suggest some tips for the newbies to do so. Vare, like all other friendly characters, cannot be targeted until he turns hostile. So you will have to learn how to use free aimed attacks to hit him. You're allowed to hit him three times before he starts fighting back. So for the first three hits, be sure to hit him hard. For instance, with a jump attack, try to hit him as much as you can after he turns hostile to prevent him from drawing his weapon. If you're lucky, you might even kill him before he has a chance to fight back. If he is still alive, remember to lock onto him as soon as he turns hostile. This will make fighting him easier. Vare relies mainly on bleed damage to kill you. Most of his attacks are harmless, but be careful not to let him apply the bleed effect on you. Guarding against his attacks is ill-advised, since bleed damage penetrates a shield's defenses. In most cases, it is better to get hit than to block his attacks. When he casts Swarm of Flies, panic roll in multiple directions to confuse the flies and dodge the spell. Be very careful of the spell Catch Flame. If your vigor is low, it can deal significant damage to you, and if cast rapidly, can kill you. Stamina management is very important in this fight. He has low poise, so hit him continuously with light attacks to interrupt his actions. Stop attacking him as soon as he starts panic rolling to conserve your stamina. Back away to recover your stamina, then wait for him to approach you before you hit him again. If you need to heal yourself, you should do so only after dodging his attack or when he's casting Blood Flame Blade to strengthen himself. Repeat these steps a few times, and you would have successfully defeated Vare. Now that I've completed my analysis, it's finally time for my verdict. So, do we slay or spare Vare? My answer is spare. You 
may not like him for calling you maidenless, but aside from your dignity, you do not gain much else from killing him. In fact, he gives you his six festering bloody fingers in a future encounter with him. But more importantly, you stand to gain a useful shortcut by following his questline. So mercy, I say yes mercy. And if you cannot tolerate his attitude, well I won't spoil it too much, but just grin and bear with it for now. And maybe you will get to kill him later. Of course, all of this is just my opinion. Now his fate is in your hands. If you found this guide helpful, then please click on the like and subscribe buttons. Alright, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of Slay or Spare.